A visit to Lapland is not complete until you get on a snowmobile for an exciting trip through the magnificent snowy forests. Hop on our snowmobile with us. The lakes and rivers in Lapland are frozen from mid-October to mid-April. Since temperatures at night are sometimes minus 40, the ice is thick. On top of that there is a good layer of snow. And there you have the perfect base for driving around on a snowmobile. Kijk wat een mooi glad is sneeuw hier joh. Even traffic signs and paths are created on the snowy ice. For the local population, moving around on the ice is one of the most normal things in the world. We went on two excursions, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Before we started, our guide provided us with safety instructions about driving. And we received thermal clothing, consisting of thick overalls that could be worn over our clothes. In addition you could also have boots and gloves, but we had our own. We also got a helmet with a thermal cap underneath. Just fitting and putting it on was very warm. When everyone had all the gear, we went outside, where the snowmobiles were ready. After a brief explanation of how to use the snowmobile, we set off. The area is really beautiful. The trees here on the mountain are full of snow. Not just a little, but a lot. We drove quite slowly at first. Later we accelerated. In one place, Remco, the safari leader, drove through deep snow. The tracks were almost impossible to follow, so we went straight through the deep snow. We made it, but four or five other snowmobiles got stuck and two even fell over. Ja, ik draai aan de rechts. Ja. Hou je vast. Remco went to save everyone from the snow. After another hour we returned. In the afternoon we went on a three hour snowmobile excursion. Which is the perfect means to reach deep into the wilderness of Lapland. This time it went a lot faster than the last time. The top speed was 50 km an hour. And that was only in the open area without trees. Between the trees we drove 25-30 km. We didn't ride that fast because my kidneys were moving internally from the bumpy road. The others often had to wait for us.
At one point we came to a large hill that we had to climb one by one. It snowed this time, and Leonie would clean the lens of the GoPro every time we stopped. On the way we got another pack of soft drinks, and that was an unrealistic sight. Grey and black in the white snow and fog. I couldn't see the path very well at times. The rest had already disappeared from view and the visor of the helmet was fogging up. We were happy to be back. Leonie suffered from the bumping and said the view and experience are lost at these high speeds. Yes indeed. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and watch the next video. Dream, explore and, and travel, travel with us. us.